everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here, and I do these videos just to educate women more on your health, whole food nutrition, how you can align that with your body's hormones, natural physiology as it changes throughout the month to get and keep a better and easier result. I am the author of the book, The Female Fat Solution, which is on Amazon right now. You can pick this up. This talks all about that and goes into detail on how to align your nutrition with your hormones and your cycle. Upcoming book, The Female Menopause Solution. This is all about nutrition specifically for women in menopause. This is coming out August 28th. <gasps> Here, let me put this in the comments right now. You can get on the wait list for the menopause book when it comes out. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> um, and then I also have the 12-week challenge, which is the exact meal guide that takes you step-by-step -step along the way throughout 12 weeks. Um, just teaching you everything you need to go know about how to eat for your hormones and cycle. There's a journal that goes with it. You get tons of content, tons of guidance, and working one-on-one -on -one with me through that process. I have a podcast, The Female Health Solution. Even more inspiration, motivation, and education on that podcast. And my YouTube channel is Dr. Beth Westy. Subscribe to it so you can stay updated on all the videos that I do. Okay, now when we talk about this, I'm still talking about thyroid. I have gotten like a swarm of questions on thyroid and hormones and everything. And I, I wanna answer them all, but also be really clear on what I'm answering because a lot of women get a mixed message. I don't wanna say misinformed necessarily, but a mixed message in terms of what's actually happening for them and then what's gonna actually be helpful for you moving forward, right? Because not all thyroid stuff is created equal. I've been talking primarily about low thyroid, hypothyroid, uh, because a lot of women that have weight gain and other hormonal issues, that's what they have or they show symptoms or they're like, uh, this is weird. My thyroid numbers are normal, but Mm, I'm having all the symptoms of a low thyroid. What do I do, et cetera, et cetera. And in the 12 week challenge, so again, there's a link in the comments that you can click, get on the wait list for that because I actually release a little bit of some of the information there in the wait list. So you can actually kind of get started a little ahead of the game um, <laughs> for the next 12 week challenge. So you get a sneak peek behind the scenes, that type of a thing there. But that's what I help you create an exact you know, protocol for what your body specifically needs. Every body is different. Every body needs something a little different. But when we talk about, um, you know, hormone issues and especially thyroid, all these other things, women just get, uh, I don't want to say again, misinformed. So this was a question I got um, where someone was like, well, what do I do when my low progesterone is causing low thyroid? And I was like, oh, I'm going to have to do a whole video just dedicated to this because, and you can see, I don't have low progesterone up here anywhere. <laughs> yeah, there's a reason for that, yeah. Because you're looking at the interaction of two things that yes, they're interacting, but that's not, that's like downstream kind of what's happening. You have to do the bigger picture, what's upstream, what's happening here first that's causing all this other crap and the other crap that happens, that's what you feel, right? Those are the effects that you feel. You're like, oh, the progesterone issues and la la la, you, those are the symptoms that you're having. So it's we can chat about that, but it's really more helpful to look at the beginning of this and where this starts, why it starts and understand that better because without that, you can do all these things to try and boost your progesterone and boost some of these other things, but you can spend all day boosting your progesterone. But if you're not looking upstream at where the origin of the problem is, you're really missing the mark. You're really missing out on what's actually going to have you really get better and be better off from following a certain protocol or taking certain supplements because again you have to you have to have the right thing targeted so again these are things that I make sure that we target in the 12-week challenge we target things specifically for you so you get the right stuff moving forward again link is in the comments for that so go ahead and get on board with that um, so when we talk about low progesterone one of the big causes of low progesterone is high estrogen yeah so I'm going to put that here, that low progesterone, right? That low progesterone is caused by the excess or high estrogen, this. Yeah. So it's not the, oh, my progesterone is low, you know, that type of a thing, right? It is, it is, it comes from excess estrogen, estrogen dominance. And tomorrow I'm going to talk all about estrogen dominance specifically and some things in that and what that involves, because that is a whole nother bear whole nother bear to deal with. <sighs> Might make a t-shirt with that. 
like like estrogen dominance and it being a bear or something or something awful anyway so when we look at the origin of all these things it really comes from and stems from cortisol yeah so prolonged cortisol release this is you're under stress for a long time you have a crappy job you have a tough situation you um you know how you could have something in your life going on that just causes your system to be in overdrive mode mm -hmm. that's that prolonged cortisol release now that is going to cause your liver not to be able to clear that excess estrogen so your liver just gets backlogged it gets backed up it can't do all of the things your liver is in charge of processing through and getting rid of excess estrogen and it can't do it and if you get you know excess cortisol all these other things right there's a whole other myriad of issues you can become constipated so your body's not releasing the excess estrogen that way so estrogen just builds up in your system and your liver can't handle all of it so it just builds up even more and even more and even more right it doesn't start off like this big huge fire it starts off as like a little tiny flame like just lighting a match and then you add another match and then you add another one and then you add another one and then you add some sticks and you add some sticks and you add some bigger logs and bigger logs and before you know it you get this huge bonfire going where it was just started with this little match that's kind of how this starts and it can grow over a period of time like this I mean it doesn't happen overnight but a lot of women will notice oh my gosh I went through this really stressful time or I had a stressful experience and then after that couple of months, my body just hasn't been the same. It can be a few months that this is onboarding, or it can even be a couple of years that it takes for your system to get overloaded. It just depends, right? But all of that's gonna lead to other nutrient depletion, all these other issues that cause weight gain, inability to lose weight, right? All those other things are downstream effects that are because of this issue. So your liver can't clear the excess estrogen. Now your excess and increased estrogen then causes that decreased progesterone. Yeah, so your progesterone <clears throat> tanks. And that's, yeah, terrible, right? So you have this huge imbalance, the estrogen dominance. Again, tomorrow I will do um, a video on that. Krista, it sounds like you were talking about me. Oh, uh, Krista, yeah, there's a lot of women that have this and they don't understand why and they keep thinking, I gotta eat cleaner, I gotta eat more salads. Oh, my chicken doesn't have any sauces on it. Why am I not losing weight? It's not about the dang sauce. It's not about you know, eating a cupcake here or there or having a glass of wine here or there. It is about this stuff going on in your system and it not being corrected and you following the super clean plan and getting to the gym every day, but you're still not correcting your system. You know what I mean? Like you can't drive your car very well on a, on a flat tire. That's what you're trying to do. Drive your car with a flat tire. <laughs> so, okay, so the, ex the liver can't clear the excess estrogen. And again, we'll talk about estrogen dominance tomorrow. But that excess estrogen specifically related to thyroid, excess estrogen is going to cause this with the lower progesterone and cause those issues as well, which also then can affect fertility. Again, we'll talk about that tomorrow with the um, estrogen dominance. But this excess estrogen causing that decrease in progesterone, the excess estrogen here also causes this increase in this uh, thyroid binding globulin. Now, again fancy like the, no one cares what this is right here's what happens with that though essentially because of this increase your thyroid hormone that's in your body remains inactive meaning it can't do the thing it's supposed to do so even if you have thyroid some of your thyroid numbers are normal right they're not active and they can't do they can't do the thing <laughs> what yeah yeah, and that's because of the excess estrogen here. So it's really starting from the cortisol affecting the liver, affecting the estrogen, and the estrogen then affects the thyroid and the progesterone. So again, it's not because of the low progesterone to the thyroid, it's, be, it's higher upstream than that. Now, other things to keep in mind through this, so let me know if this doesn't make sense to you. Let me know if you guys are like, what? <laughs> Because I'm try, I'm, I try to break it down so it makes sense so you guys understand that, you know, it's, it's not that you're not, you know, burning enough calories at the gym or whatever, right? It's not about any of that crap when we're talking about this. Um, women that I work with, are they're smart women. They are dedicated. They do programs. It's not like they're tr signing up for stuff and then totally tanking it. They're really doing it. What they're doing, though, is just not including the issues that they have here. And that's what we do in the 12 week program. So 
Okay, other things that cortisol does that, that you need to be aware of, um, that increase in cortisol is then also just going to cause a direct decrease in TH, TSH, which is the thyroid stimulating hormone, right? So these are things right from the brain, um, thyroid stimulating hormone. Now overall that's decreasing then your thyroid hormone production. So straight up, again, it's all stemming originally above even the estrogen issue, it's coming from that cortisol. Cortisol is the bear here. Cortisol also is gonna inhibit the conversion of T4 to T3. So that's, that's the active form, right, the T3. So when I talked about before in, in the other video when I was like, oh, there's two hormones that have receptor sites on every single cell in your body, everybody, everybody, all the cells, two things, vitamin D and thyroid. <laughs> that's how important it is. That's how essential it is to your system. So in that T3, this is the active form. It has to be converted. Now there is way more that I could talk about and go into here. We, I, I, you know, I don't even know that you guys need to know all of that detail. This is the basic, this is what it breaks down to. The cortisol doesn't let even this conversion happen. So it doesn't even get to the active point where it enters the cell. <sighs> what? Yeah. So again, for a lot of you that may have like, oh, some numbers are okay, or they're low, or they're high, or I don't understand, or what, right? A lot of it can be directly related to your cortisol levels and how well your body is functioning overall, how healthy your system is in general, how many minerals you're getting, how much nutrient your body has. How is your body managing this stress? Yeah, so there's different you know, protocols and supplements that I will recommend for each gal based on what your system has going on, but again, this is, this is another huge piece. This is another huge piece. So the cortisol is directly, I, I want to show this because a lot of times it's the cortisol directly affecting the thyroid outcome here. And again, not the progesterone. And the progesterone though is related to the excess estrogen that again is coming downstream from that cortisol issue. It's all stress. <laughs> it's all stress. So uh, new plan everyone. We're all going to move to the beach. We're just gonna move to the beach. We're gonna, you know, live off of coconuts and sun ourselves and zero stress, right? Live in bubbles, I don't know. <laughs> um, but I'm hoping that this kind of makes sense and that this understands and explains a, a little bit more about what may be happening in your system or maybe causing some of these other issues. So again, tomorrow I'm gonna do a video and I'm gonna talk about the excess estrogen, the progesterone, the effects of that specifically. Um, and talking about female hormones in your body, other things that you can be experiencing. Again, weight loss, weight gain, all these other things, that's part of it too, of course. Um, but it's, you know, re realizing that in your thyroid is really in charge of your metabolism. And if you have too much stress, it, you're getting kicked in the butt here from a lot of different angles on that thyroid front, right? I mean, look, this is just three things. These are just, th there's more. I said, these are the big main things that I think you guys can understand in terms of how hard a lot of this increased stress is on your thyroid and then the downstream things, the estrogen, the progesterone, everything else. It, it, it's a really big deal. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. What's the best way to get cortisol levels down fast? Ooh, good question, Erica. Yes. So that, that would be moving to the beach. <laughs> Um, I, I, I'm joking, right? Of course. Um, there's twofold to it. And I find this when I work with a lot of women, this just comes from working with thousands of women all over the world, uh, that, that have a lot of these issues a lot with this cortisol going on. Again, our bodies get so nutrient depleted, this excess cortisol and everything, your body's just on overdrive all the time, right? All the time. And it just kind of sucks the life out of you. It literally will leach nutrients from your body. So you have to overload your body with nutrients, but they have to be, you know, appropriate ones, you know, fuel your system correctly. And then again, I do recommend specific, um, you know, protocols for each person. So it's really tough for me to say, oh, do this, because what I tell you to do is might not be helpful for another person. Um, yeah, but these are all things that I cover and I create a custom plan for you in the 12 week challenge to make sure that you are getting all the nutrients you need. I mean, and it's not that you can't do your own research, right? I mean, I know a lot of women do fantastic research, 
a lot of times with that research, unless you're working with somebody who does this all the time and you know, this is their area, you can either be taking something that's not as effective or not taking enough or not taking the right combination of things or doing the right combination of things. Um, and so a lot of it then is trial and error. Not that you couldn't figure it out. I have every faith that a lot of women can figure things out, right? Like again, women I work with, they're, they're smart women, right? It just might take you five years to figure it out. You might have to be on a quest for five years and you'll be spending money on supplements left and right for the next five years to figure out if you're getting the right combination of things along the way. The faster way to it is, you know, doing the 12 week challenge where you <laughs> get that custom protocol right off the bat. Um, yeah, but that that's another thing too is that, oh, I just read this other thing where it talked about you know, cookie cutter programs and how, how it's really a disservice to women. There's another, there's more research that just came out about a supplement that's being recommended to a lot of people and it's not a bad supplement, but someone was like, listen, they're not even studying this in women at all. So how are you saying that it's even good for people all the time when you're not studying the effects of women throughout the course of their cycle and their hormones? Right? Yeah. Yeah. So that, those are the things that we go over in the 12 week challenge. We're doing these things at this time of the month to align with what your body and system needs and then we're addressing the thyroid or the cortisol or the whatever it is that your system needs. So yes, Whew. this was a lot. This was a lot of heavy stuff. Um, I know, and this, I think this is my third video in a row on thyroid. And there's so many women that are suffering with thyroid issues. There's so many women that are doing so many healthy things yet still having a problem. So that's why I've been spending this much time on it. And if you guys still have more questions, keep them coming. I'll keep diving in. I'll keep answering the questions like this so that, you know, you understand that, yes, this is not, right? Somebody might say that to you. You might, might be presented to you like, it's your low progesterone that's causing your low thyroid. And really that's not how those are connected, right? They're connected in this way. It's the cortisol to the liver, to the excess estrogen, which then causes that decrease in progesterone. Yeah. And then the excess estrogen to the thyroid. So the estrogen's doing those things. So that they're connected by the estrogen, I guess, um, is the simple way to look at it. Yes, but keep the questions coming. I love it, this is amazing. Um, and then tomorrow I'm gonna talk about estrogen dominance and more of this hormonal relationship. But if you have questions again on any of these things at all, let me know, I can dive into this more as well. So. That's what I got for you guys today. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Um, yeah, I'll see you later.